Greetings Earth enthusiasts. If you ever wondered about the incredible perspectives our planet has to offer from high above here in the right place. I am Dr. Cloud Kutsi and I'm thrilled to be your guide on this captivating journey into the world of remote sensing. Welcome. And please remember to like, subscribe to and share this video. Thank you. In video tutorial 81, we looked at uh, accessing and downloading Sentinel images or Sentinel bands from the Sentinel Hub Earth Observation Browser. And I received some requests to further explore um, the options um, that is available within the Earth Observation Browser. So I'm going to pause our journey in Sentinel images for a little while and just spend a little bit of time on the Sentinel Hub Earth Observation Browser. Um, the Details of the websites I will post in the comment section of this particular video tutorial. Um, so for ease, ease, ease of reference and quickly um, getting to the website. But this is basically the landing page that you get to. Now remember, um, as per that video tutorial 81, um, you need to register um, before you can look you can access most of this without registration but as soon as you want to download the, the, the images and the bands you have to be registered okay so always I pos I suggest log in so we're gonna log in and we're gonna sign in and with it, voila we are signed in okay so we can log out there's your english or your language that you want to do i'm english so i'm going to keep with english it says so this is your landing page that you get to um, and i said please remember to log in okay uh, it just opens a whole lot of um, functions um, then when if you're not logged in okay so that's quite important please remember to log in and in video, video tutorial 81 um, we go through the steps of registering logging in etc etc okay so typically this will be the landing page that you will get to okay so if i refresh you'll see that this will be the landing page now in my case this is where my landing page looked like obviously um, your landing page might be quite different so the first thing that we have to do, we have to um, get our region of interest, specify our region of interest. Now, as I said, you can inc you can uh, upload your region of interest uh, shape file or boundary file um, using, if you go there, using this spe specific function here, which is upload a file to create your area of interest. Remember, you go on this little sign here, castle, little sign, go there. I've tried it, but it just, it makes uh, the thing very, very slow. Um, so I prefer not to do this. I prefer to just draw a basic region of interest. But when you draw this, please make sure that you draw it so that it includes all of your region of interest because it will cut it, it will clip it based on your region of interest that you specify here. Um, so I prefer to do the clipping in QGIS. So that's roughly my region of interest. Let me just make it a bit smaller. That's roughly my region of interest. So first of thing, I'm gonna go to this little tool and I'm gonna draw a region of interest. And again, I draw it quite liberal in the sense that it's much bigger than my selected region of my actual region of interest my actual region of interest lies within this particular region of interest that I covered here but rather do it um, as I said fairly liberal so that you are confident that your specific region of interest is covered because when you're going to export it it will clip the image around this region of interest as i said you can use there's some other some other tools there that you can use there's your spectral explorer the statistical info uh, center map on the feature etc etc okay as i said <clears throat> i prefer to use this method of creating a region of interest than importing a shape file because it just makes the thing very very slow in my experience it might be different to your experience right okay so once we've 
withdrawn our region of interest our next um, is to go and select specify our time frames and then when we specialize uh, specify our time frames we then specify our um, our uh, data sources our uh, satellites okay so I'm gonna go for a combination of a couple Okay, so first of all, let's go and select our time frame. I'm sticking with this 12 to 12 January to, to 12 March, it, because I know there's a particular image we said was the 19th of February that were particularly relevant to our region of interest. It met all of the criteria, i.e. it covered my region of interest. It had the desired cloud level mark and it fell, fell within my time frame. Okay, so I'm going to stick with this. Let's stick with my my um, um, time period. I'm going to stick with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Sentinel and I'm going to choose the 10% the um, or less cloud cover. Remember, I use this button here, okay? And I select uh, Sentinel 2. That's the atmospherically corrected one. So that's important. And then as I said, 10% cloud cover or less. Okay, so let's go 10%. Uh, let's, yeah, we can leave. Okay, there's 10%. But what I'm also going to do is I'm also going to select my Landsat 8 and 9 image. And again, I'm going to go select the land. Also, um, the L2, which is also atmospheric corrected. I'm also going to get to, to 10%. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to do this harmonized Landsat one as well, which is both Landsat Sentinel. And I'm going to also go... 10% here. Okay, and if you want to know what this harmonized Landsat Sentinel is, if we click on this question mark here, it tells you what it is. It's a specific um, a data set that uh, the Sentinel is um, doing that sort of combines the two uh, data sets, the Sentinel and the Landsat data sets. Anyway, it's available there. For now, I'm going to leave these ones alone. I'm not going to go with them. We can do it later. Look at Modus. Modus gives you a medium. Okay, let's let's go pick Modus as well. Um, um, we can do a DEM. Uh, now, let's leave the, the Digital Elevation Model Coponica services. Let's leave that alone. Obviously, Landsat 1 of 5, I'm not going to tick 4 and 5, I'm not going to tick 7. And the reason, obviously, is these these um, Landsats don't operate in uh, 2024 anymore. They are um, previous Landsat. Landsat 3, let's have a look. Uh, surface topography, so that's Landsat 3. Landsat 5 is that provides atmospheric measurements to be used for air quality, etc. So, so it tells you. Okay, so now we've got our region of interest. We're happy with our region of interest. We've specified our time period. We're happy with that. A month should be fine because most of these ones uh, create a, a, a complete image of the surface every 16 days. It takes about 16 days to 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 orbit the, uh, the the total Earth to create those images. So um, a month should be you should get a good quality image within a month period. Okay, so we're gonna go for the Landsat, um, the Sentinel, the Landsat, the harmonized Landsat, and we're gonna give motors. So we're all okay with that. So our next step is to press search. Okay, so now we search. Now you basically just hang on. And wait for the whole thing to 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 be finished. Okay, so um, there is our Sentinel image. Let's if you want to visualize this image, you can just click on this visualization. And if see we this visualization, let's see what the resulting image looks like. Remember, it has to cover our region of interest. And there we go. So it covers our region of interest quite well. Um, looks quite good. As I said, we can now play around. This is a true color image. We can click there to give us a false color image, which is bands 8, 4, and 3. We can do that. Now, the false color just highlights vegetation and things like that. Okay, so that would be a sentinel image. If to go back to our data sources, we just select uh, discover again. So that was our sentinel image, which is the 10th of March, 2024. So that's a good one. Okay, so let's have a look 
there's a sent uh, sentinel and image 10th of March but if I press this you'll see uh, let's have a look and see it also covers um, my region of interest two colors there we go so so that's still the 10th of March so the 10th of March seems to be a good day for these images okay so let's quickly have a look and see so um, there's our harmonized landset let's have a look see if there's anything there nope yeah well there we go so there's a harmonized uh, landset image but you can see it only covers half of our region of interest not our full region of interest so that's a bit of a useless thing so let's quickly have a look and see it actually doesn't display it very nicely let's have a look and see we've tried that one it's also March also that's one percent let's go visualize nope it's so there seem to be no um, Lancet harmonized Lancet Sentinel image for our region of interest for that particular period they all basically just cover half of it so that's no good so we'll have to we don't find it we obviously have to expand our time period let's have a look at this one nope also not so that's also not happening okay so let's see in terms of our landset images there's still sentinel but i think we've got a good sentinel image there's still landset visualized let's have a look at this one here nope and so you just have to continue down the there's another one there all these uh, options there's still more sentinel images there's landset um let's have a look and see what this landset one looks like it's a pity that doesn't give you a it's not going to work it's only just giving you this doesn't pity doesn't give you a, a little small window as well where you can actually have a look before you select it okay so that's let's try this one here that's a harmonized uh, landset that's for 12 19th of the second 24 let's have a look maybe we're lucky uh, nope doesn't seem like we're going to be lucky with that one either so that one oh there we go okay sorry it took a bit of time this gives us a little bit of hope let's just wait for it hopefully it will maybe there's a problem with internet or there's some issue again let's give it a bit of time there we go so this one seems to be okay well let me not get too yeah i think this we're gonna be fine here we're gonna be fine here so this is a harmonized landset sentinel uh, image for our region of interest in the 19th of february that's 19th of february seems to be a good date so we've downloaded a sentinel image for the 19th of february i'm going to download this harmonized landset sentinel image for the 19th of february and then we're looking for a landset image for the 19th of february and then we're going to compare them okay so that's i'm happy with this Okay. so we're going to download it now so i'm going to go to this specific specific little button here or icon here um, and then i'm going to go download now remember we're going to go to analytical okay then i'm going to go for the tiff 32 bit fl float so that's the format that i want to and i want it in high resolution high resolution and then I'm going to select all the bands that I want to download. Okay, so let's go there. And I'm selecting all the bands. Okay, not just the visual, the, the, the normal bands, the bands 1 to 8. I'm downloading all the bands. So again, just please make sure 32-bit float, high resolution. So that's important. If you want to change your um, coordinate system, uh, you can do that. I said I prefer to use the the Mercator um, uh, 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 system because that gives me in meters whereas the um, the EPS 4326 uh, system gives me in um, degrees 
Okay, so if we go into our, I just want to make sure what we've downloaded, our Sentinel, if we go there, go in, this is now in QGIS properties, did we source? Okay, so we didn't uh, download it in that uh, meters with the degree, so let's keep it constant, so I'm going to keep it there, but whether you change it here or change it to QGIS, that's up to you. I prefer to change, to do the uh, changes in QGIS, not in um, I don't want to do too many things in Sentinel app. Uh, I'm a bit um, wary about that. So we just once we've selected, make sure I set 32 bit. Hi, I've selected my bands. I guess download. Okay, now it's a waiting game until we get the nod to say these things are ready to be downloaded, and we're going to download it. So once we've downloaded, um, I'm going to save it, and then uh, working with it and comparing the three uh, data sources in QJS will be a follow-up video tutorial. Okay, so I'll do that in a follow-up video tutorial. But for now, we're just going to playing around. So we in that video tutorial 81, we've downloaded a Sentinel-2 image. And that image was also 19th of February 2024. Okay, and this is, if you can go, that is these, this image here. If I go to, it was this image here. Okay, remember, you we download the individual bands. Okay, so we'll download 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we'll download 13 bands, but obviously we just, in terms of our visualization, we just use the blue, green, red, aerosol, uh, near infrared, short wave infrared 1, short wave infrared 2. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the seven bands that we normally use to visualize our images. Okay, but we download all of them and then they will be, as I said, in QGIS, they will be individual bands. And then within QGIS, we stack them. You can stack them either using your, if you go to raster, you go to miscellaneous, you go to your build virtual raster, which is a plugin. Okay, so remember this build virtual raster is a plugin, and for that you have to go plugins, manage install, and you look for your virtual. You just go to all and you go to your virtual raster. There we go. And then you just click on it and it creates a and you install the plugin. I've already installed it, so I'm not gonna go for it. So you can either go to raster, miscellaneous, build raster. Uh, build, build virtual raster and there you can select all the bands etc etc and you create a, uh, a singular image or you can go into the SCP doc you can go to your band sets here and you select all your band sets okay you select your semi automatic classification you select your, all your band sets and you go to create a virtual raster uh, and a band stack okay so that's the two methods that you use within QGIS to combine all these individual bands. Okay, so let's have a look and see. It's still trying to download, so it's going to still take a bit of time. So in the meantime, let's, let's, um, yeah. So uh, I want to pause quickly until it's down, until it's downloaded, and then we're going to quickly find a uh, uh, a Landsat image and we're going to download this. So let me quickly just pause it and I'll be right back as soon as this is ready to be downloaded. I'll be right back. Just stand by. Okay, eventually uh, it took about five minutes. Uh, yeah, it took about five minutes for the download to, to be completed. So now you've got a little thing there that says it has downloaded and I've saved it to my project folder. Okay, so two down. I have downloaded a Sentinel image and now I've downloaded a harmonized Landsat Sentinel image and um, for exactly for the same date. So now I'm going to close this. And I'm looking now for a Landsat 9 image for the 19th of February 2024. Okay, so let's quickly see if I can go to the 19th of February and see if we can find a Landsat image for the 19th. Um, there is uh, the Harmonized Landsat. There's a Sentinel. 
let's see if we can find a load more i don't see a um, lancet we're gonna download this lens harmonize sentinel harmonize sentinel sentinel let's see uh, there's a lancet for 23 of the second let's try it and see what happens if it covers nope it doesn't satisfy our region of interest requirement. Let's go back and see if there's another one, Sentinel. We're looking for Lancet. So it's, as I said, it's a pity that we don't they don't display the the Lancet images or the visualization here. Uh, let's go and see what that happens. Nope, that doesn't work either. So that is now, let's have a look and see if we can find one. Otherwise, if we don't find one, we'll have to expand our, there's a Sentinel, let's have a look and see. There's a Lancet there, let's have a see. I very much doubt that that one is gonna work. No, they're all the same, so let's, oops, sorry. So let's go and load more. Um, so even we have to go go now it's we're not gonna find a land set so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to search and I'm gonna deselect all these ones because we've already got them um, so uh, let's just make our search a little bit um, wider so okay so it doesn't can't go further than that so let's go to the first of February and we're only gonna do Lancet. I'm gonna exclude the modus for now. Let's just search for Lancet and see. Okay, so we've already selected, you see most of them doesn't, okay, there's, um, now we're gonna have a problem here. We're gonna have a problem here. That's the first. Okay, so that looks, oh, it's not gonna work because that is that side of the, of the, um, region of interest so that's not gonna work so let's go with this one here also first that's okay that doesn't gonna work so let's look at the 17th so there's the eighth let's have a look and see if the eighth is any good takes a bit of time maybe there's some problems with the internet who knows but it's giving us a little bit of problems here uh, nope, I don't think anything is popping up. Um, nope, doesn't seem like there's anything there. Nope. Um, 17th, we've, I think we've already looked at the 17th. Nope. Nothing there. You see, that's my concern. If we go to the 23, we've already looked at the 23rd and said that's not going to work. So we looked at 23rd, we looked at the 17th, we looked at the 16th. Also not going to work. Um, so that's not going to work. So there's, see, it doesn't seem to be any, any land set. Okay, so go back to search. Let's make it then. Let's make it beginning of January then. First of January. Let's search again. Okay, so let's start from the bottom. First of it. Nope. It's not going to cover our region of interest. And it's got lots and lots of clouds. Okay, didn't we? Okay, so it has given us 9% clouds. There's 8. Let's have a look and see. It's also not going to work. Nope. So for whatever reason, that's very strange, is that we don't seem to find a image for my region of interest for 2024. So that means a couple of things. One is I have to to expand okay so we know it's not gonna work so we're gonna go back to search 
and I'm gonna go 2023 till now and let's go search okay so let's go see I'm I'm concerned if you, oh, there we go that looks something okay let's have a look that is a Lancet image. Uh, why is it not? Yeah, okay, there we go. Oh, well, there we go. There's our Lancet image. So that is 19th of the 10th month. 19th of the 10th month. So, okay, so we're going to download that image. Okay, so I'm not going to do this. I'll come back to it. Uh, and do it a bit later. Okay, so we've got something for the 19th of the 10th. Okay, now well, let's download it. Okay, so we're going to go download. We're going to go analytical. We're going to go JPEG to float. We're going to go keep that. And we're going to go high. And we're going to select all the bands. Once we've selected all the bands, we're going to go and press. The, okay, I'm not going to go through color. Okay, just go make sure it's stiff, it's high. We keep the resolution the same, or we keep the coordinate system. Uh, and we select our bands, we're going to press download, and it's going to take a bit of time. So, um, while we're waiting for this to download, let me quickly pause here, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now our Landsat image for 19 September 2023, for our reason of interest is also downloaded. Also took about six minutes this time. So it seems like the downloading is about five, six minutes, depending on your internet speed and all of these sort of things. But my side looks like about five to six minutes. And obviously, once I've downloaded, I've downloaded to my project folder and it will download as a zip file. Then obviously, you have to unzip it, etc. Et okay, so let's quickly go and see. So, okay, we've got now um, back to search. We've got now a Sentinel-2 image, we've got a Lancet image, we've got a harmonized Lancet Sentinel image. Let's assume for the sake of our exercise that they all are for 19 February 2024. Let's assume that. Because I don't think there's going to be a lot of difference between the Lancet, well, the September and Mar and February, there's going to be quite a bit of difference. And it's because of the seasonality. Um, the September would be much more green, then March would be much more um, uh, sand and, and things like that. So we're going to have a problem. But let, let's have a look and see what, what we... And then let's, for the interstex, also see what our modus images looks like. Let's keep the time period the same. Let's have a look and see what our modus... So that's a tenth. Let's visualize that. Um, Let's see what our modus image looks like. There's our true color. That looks... Okay, there's our false color. Shall we? Let's go to our 9th. Yeah, so that's 10th of February. So nothing. That's all 2023. So there's nothing in 2024. So why is it our certs not? Yeah, our certs are there. Let's go there. So, modus. Um, so it's daily. Uh, um, let's have a look and see. It's, the resolutions are terrible. So, um, shall we or shall we leave it and compare? Well, let's for the sake of it, let's compare it. Okay. So let's why not? Let's go and click on that. Go to a typical, we're going to go to 32, we're going to go high, and I'm going to select all my bands. There we go, I'm going to, and we're going to go download. Okay, so this will be the last one that I will download, so I'm going to also now enter the video tutorial on this. So, what we actually now should do, given that our land set is in September, we should actually go back now um, 
and I will do that is to then download the uh, Sentinel 2 image and a harmonized uh, Landsat Sentinel image also for. Okay, you see there it comes. So let's quickly call that then um, modus, and that would be for. Um, so that would be modus, modus, and that would be Feb 2023. Or we can, you see, there's my Landsat 2023, there's my Sentinel, there's my, um, or what I can do, I can, um, if it's done, it's finished, yes, uh, it's very, very small, I, I don't think it's going to be very useful, but anyway, so what I will rather than do is to see if we go back, and I, and I go to my Landsat 8 to 9, I go for this, Rather than change the 2024, uh, I'm going to go and see if there's not a February 2023 Landsat image. But again, that's not ideal. No, let's leave it for now. But anyway, I think you get the idea what we, we're going to play around with these four images and QJS and see how they compare with one another. But ideally, what I'm going to do is I'm also going to do a February 2023 Landsat and harmonized um, so that we compare them all for exactly the same time um, and not have them different times because of the seasonality in this part plays a very, very important role. So let me stop for there for now. Uh, for this particular video tutorial and um, then uh, I will see you in the next one where we do with QGA. So thanks for joining me. Really appreciate it. Um, stay tuned. Much more to come. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, click the notification bell, all those fancy things. Press the buttons, press the buttons, press the buttons, please. I need your support. It's fuel for our journey. And uh, I'll see you on the other side.